So let's go a little bit deeper on vert painting info, info flow, and I'm going to call this a 300 level course, so 301, and um, so theory, and then we'll follow it up with uh, practicality and unity. Uh, so we already covered this, which is our initial Inkscape flow, which is Inkscape, Blender post mesh file, our Blender, our vert painting information is in there. It's embedded inside the mesh. We pull that into the, our Unity project store, and then we pull that into our scene. And I showed you how to sync, if you did some Unity vert painting, how to sync that back into the mesh that is in our project store. Now let's talk about a different scenario where you had to go all the way back to Inkscape and make some changes. Now I'm gonna be very vague on what those changes were um, because we'll talk about those probably a little bit more later. But let's say you either, eh, you could do either added a shape or change the shape. The bottom line though is now you have another Blender post mesh file. It's called it number two. And when you pull that through the cleanser, what it does is it creates that vert painting again. And at this point, maybe you went in and you did some more um, work inside the OPC, OPCD tools and you did some procedural vent, uh, a vert, P, a vert painting. And so now you essentially have between your post mesh file number one, which is over here, and your post mesh file number two over here, you essentially do not have the same vert vert painting information okay they're not really the same so what happens now well now you export that into your windows store it overwrites the ones that were here okay so the ones you had earlier it's those are going to get overwritten they're now gone they get overwritten by the newer ones and then we pull those in and we overwrite the ones in our uh our unity project so what happens there? Well, the ones that were sitting there also get overwritten. So now you have a scenario where your Unity scene OPCD meshes with the vert painting that is on them, again, doesn't match the ones here. And now you need to make a decision. Are you going to use the vert painting that came from Blender? Or do you want to use the vert painting that came from uh, your Unity vert painting that you've been working on. If you want to use the stuff that you've been using in Unity, all you have to do is do a big vertex painting to mesh and it'll overwrite the ones that you just imported. However, if you want need to use the ones that you imported, if you want to use that vert painting, you need to drag that FBX back into your scene. And um, at that point, the Unity vert painting is going to be overwritten, okay? Um, so that's really important to understand that you cannot merge Blender vert painting. You cannot merge it with your Unity vert painting. You got one choice or another. You cannot merge those two together. One overwrites the other, but you can decide which one you want to use. Now, one thing we will talk about later is that you can actually export, and I'll show you in the next video, you can export selected me meshes. So you don't have to export everything out of here. You can do a couple meshes if you not if you don't want to replace everything. So it's not an all or nothing. You can just do individual meshes, and um, that's what we're going to talk to you in the next video. However, what's now important to understand is how this vert planning flow goes, and how you could potentially lose some work that you've been working on if you don't plan and you don't understand what I'm going over accordingly.